Welcome, in front of me is an Honor Magic 7 Lite and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with this kind of screen that you can see on my end and you want to find your desired language from the list and then click on the blue button, go forward and now you can select your region. Now for me it's selected United Kingdom. Uh, this doesn't really matter, as far as I know, it has no real effect on the device. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Next, we have terms of use. You can tap on the details button to read exactly what you are agreeing to, but at the end of the day, you do need to select I have carefully read and agreed to the terms, uh, to the above terms, like we all do carefully read by just pressing next. Uh, and then we can insert our SIM card. Now, here we can also insert an eSIM if you have such a thing. If you don't, just pop out the tray that is located here and pop in your physical card. And additionally, you don't actually need to insert your SIM card at all if you don't want to right now, which is completely fine. You can just skip this. Now, if you also skip signing into Wi-Fi network, you won't have Google login page to show through the setup process. Date and time won't be set automatically. So this page shows up, therefore. And also you won't be able to restore apps and data from a cloud backup. Now, next we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data, but because they are from Google, you could turn those all off and uh, for all we know, Google will still gather this data because it's not like Google is going to ever care what we have to say or what we don't or do agree with. So yeah, this is more of a general guideline to, for them to follow rather than an actual disagreement, I would say. Next we have data and privacy. Uh, these are from Honor now, which again, pretty rich coming from Huawei themselves that uh, got banned for security reasons. I can tap on details right here, which again uh, probably means squat, considering they got banned for security reasons. This is Honor, but if we are real, it's still the same company. So moving on to the next page, we have device protection and we have a couple ways of doing so. We have set up fingerprint ID, set up face recognition and a set password, which is the pin pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use any of the first two biometric options, you will always be required to select a physical way of unlocking the device. And the reason for that is biometrics aren't 100% reliable in times when they just fail you. You can use something like pattern to unlock your device. Or alternatively, you don't need to protect your device at all, but if you're planning to use things like, for instance, payments through phone and stuff like that, I would highly recommend doing so. I'm not really going to be using this device, so for the, this video, I'm just gonna skip it. Next, we have enhanced services. You can opt into them or not, it's completely up to you. User experience improvement programs again can go over this. I'm just going to be selecting later everything that just sounds like that's going to be gathering data. I'm just going to straight up opt out of this. Location services, again, don't care. Keep software up to date. I'm going to update it manually. And then we have system navigation. We have two options, three button nav or gesture nav, just whichever one you want. I'm going to stick with the gesture. And there we go. And the device is now set up and ready to be used. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.